Let's talk about running. Coming right up. What's up everyone, Sean Azari here, founder of a creative ad agency, and I wanted to start this fitness workout series on my YouTube channel because I've had, I have about 16 years experience and I do it on a daily basis, and heck, why not add some diversity to this channel and hopefully it helps at least one or two of you guys in uh, starting a workout or a healthy regime and uh, some of my daily practices also help you as well. So let's get into this topic of how I trained myself to run four miles and how you could replicate the same practices and hopefully train you to start running. So the way it worked for me is I did it by intervals. I wanted to run for me to run four miles. Um, I first did it by time so I would run for let's say, and I, I didn't run four miles in the beginning, so I would do, I would run for 30 minutes, but I would do it in an intervals, meaning I would run for five minutes, right, at a steady, constant pace that I was comfortable with. Um, and I started running outside, not on the treadmill, so if you did it on the treadmill, you could set your constant speed, you could do it, uh, what is it, it's 5.5 miles per hour, six miles per hour, seven miles per hour, whatever your speed, whatever you're comfortable with. And then after five minutes of running, I would power walk, after five minutes for at least one minute, one to two minutes, power walk, really, that's fast walking. That's not running, it's fast walking. Sometimes with your hands behind your head to help you breathe easily, or easier. Um, and then you would start up again, running again. You would do that up until you reach your goal. Now, say your goal is 30 minutes, you would do, um, you, would, you would keep running every five minutes up until you reach 30 minutes. So after when you start up running again, you run for five minutes, you take that one to two minute power walk again, and you keep going. You do that for at least two to three weeks up until you train yourself that you could start running for 10 minutes straight without five minutes rate, without being too tired. So you do that eventually after the second month, let's say after six, six to eight weeks, you will eventually train yourself such that you could run the full 30 minutes without stopping. Now that's the goal. So you wanna train your body so that you could run that full 30 minutes without stopping, without drinking water, without any breaks. So that's the way I did it. That's how I implemented. As you can see here on the treadmill, I'm trying to show you the, the pattern. Another tip I wanna leave off is the way I like to run is I like to feel like that I'm floating while running. What I mean by that, I usually run on the balls of my feet. You're not running on your toes, but you're running on the right on the, the, the bottom portion, not the middle of your foot, not the end of your foot, but that right before your toes, the balls of your feet. That's what you're running on, you're landing on that. The reason I do that, it puts less pressure on your joints and you're exerting less energy. Because when you're pounding on the ground, you're putting a lot of energy on the ground, you're hitting your, you're gonna get yourself more tired. So it's another tip that I like to suggest is try to feel like you're floating, run on the balls of your feet, and uh, that's about it. Anyway, let me know if you like this video. Hit the like button if you did, because obviously with YouTube's algorithm, the more likes, the more engagement this video gets, the more than I will be willing to put out more content like this, and the more I realize that it has helped you as well. So subscribe if you want more content uh, similar to this, and also my marketing tips vlog and uh, so forth. So anyway, catch you later. Peace.